Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, I'll be playing some more Rising Heat, this time into Sweden 6. We got board E. It just had board E into Scotland 6 to continue the trend. Um, so Sweden, wetlands is a bad explorer for us because that is both of our problematic lands. Um, anything else, we're pretty happy. It's probably wetlands, no jungle, okay. And mountain is the world backing. So that is, um, it's actually a really good hit for us. We could skip this, follow up, skip this, or this. Yeah, no, that's, that's really good. Okay, so usually with Rising Heat, I love the G3. That's what we're going to start off with. And we're going to put this presence over here into my E7. And what do we get? Um, oh, well, I mean, Gift of Power is really strong. We're just looking for really good zero cards, and this allows us to build our hand faster. Um, I love Territorial Strife as well. Um, but yeah, no, Gift of Power is definitely the pick. And I like opening up with Call on Herders. It's very strong here because I can Call on Herders E8 and stop the City Belt here, or I can do it on my E3 and stop that Ravage, and then I'll be able to skip my E7. So, and then Gift of Power lets us just draw and draw more cards. So, at this point, um, one of two things could happen. We'll either get Sands Explorer, and we'll probably win the game. And uh, like I think we win the game on the spot. If it's Sands, if it's Wetlands, I think there's still um, some more stuff that could occur. The reason why I'm so confident with that with Sands is because these are, are both empty lands. And we won't be facing down any City Ravages, which means we don't need to use our skip that often. And we can kind of um, delay it. And this is um, a pattern that you're going to see a lot into Sweden and why I don't like the adversary that much. Um, it's because, like, really, what's your game is all determined based on the very first Stage 2 card, as well as um, if your, like, big city lands come up. And we did get wetlands, so the game continues. Um, but luckily, we, we played for this edge case, and we'll play Call on Herders. And that's where we're going to be able to choose this wetland, and we're going to push this stuff out. Now, alternatively, I could gather to Han here and then push all of this out, but then I'll be facing down two City Ravages on E8 and E4, which doesn't seem good. So I'm first going to draft a power card with Gift of Power, seeing if I can draw, find a defend over here for my E3. And I did get one with Garden Serpents, but that's a really bad defend. Um, I also got Call to Ferocity, which is a very strong card with us. It's a zero cost, like I said, very good um, Fire Earth, but I did get Steam Vents. Um, now, oh, that's so sad. I was like, maybe I can grow into that land and, uh, steam vents the town. Um, but it doesn't look like that's the case because of how this board is set up. I'm too far away from it. Now, there is an option where I could just say, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to let this land ravage and I just take the single blight. Not the end of the world. Um, what do I do? I mean, I guess I could also G3 steam vents here. Oh, no, I can't, because I, I need the uh, the three earth to kill the town, and I can't get the three earth if I'm playing my skip, because the skip doesn't have the earth. I think I'm, I think it's actually still called a ferocity here, just because it's a zero cost on element card that can disrupt if I need it to. Okay, so call on herders, I've already talked about this, I'm just going to push this stuff over here into the jungle. Um, I'm stopping that city build, and then... Um, I guess, like, there's... What cards punish this play? Um, There is the card where if I don't take a Blight, I add a Town here, and it causes an immediate build. So that might be a reason for me to um, just purposely take that Blight here in case I get that Edge Case. Seek new farmland, push the Town out. Yeah, no, I think we're, we're okay here. I also have another um, draft for a Defend for this land. So um, two options. I can G2 bottom-bottom. Um... And that would allow me to create a nice sacred site here. <clears throat> I don't think so. This game, I think I wanted G3 here. Just looking for that defense still. We did get it. There's Drift Down, so that would be our card. We also got um, Living Energy, as well as Entrancing. Drift Down is a very good pickup here. That can defend this. And I'm going to be really greedy. And I'm not going to take that Blight there. Um, otherwise, I would have taken Living Energy. And when I say greedy, I'm going to... Basically, if I get that one card where if I don't blight, I take a, a town here, that, that will make me very sad. But um, I think I'd rather just pr preserve the Dahan here. So I'm going to play Drift Down. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play Sweltering Exhaustion. These are my two cards. 
There's my defend four and my skip. And there could have been an argument to um, actually G2ing here because, like I said, I might have to reclaim my skip if I want to um, skip this land here. So if that is the case, then I guess I'll put my presence over here in my, um, my E5 because I'll probably just take the Blight here and just say, ah, whatever. That's yeah, probably better. Okay, what do we get? Um, seek for new lands. Okay, I can push and explore. We'll push that over to here. I guess we'll push it here because we're going to probably have to mining rush that way. Um, beast push and to hunt defend. Ravage my jungles and build my wetlands. Explore is the jungle follow up. And this is why that defend was really nice. So if I chose to, well, I guess they actually would have killed both Dahan. Um, but like if there's just one Dahan here, that would be that would uh, kind of suck. And um, yes, yeah, so this this jungle here is actually pretty solid for us because that's going to line up perfectly on our reclaim turn, where we're going to reclaim, and we'll be able to have that skip here and the defend here. So yeah, we're um, in a very strong position. Um, I can G two bottom bottom. I can also G three bottom, which is something I like to do a lot. I G three again here. Um, I think I'm going to G2 bottom bottom. And I'll be taking Gift of Serene Heat on myself this game. Go Presence and Presence. We'll Mining Rush into here. So Mining Rush is Sweden 5. So once they cause a Blight in my E4, I have to add an adjacent town. So we're going to put it into this land. I'll have my defense ready for here and here. I mean G2ing here. It means my following turn, I'll probably Reclaim Loop again. But I'm okay with that. We have Gift of Searing Heat. This is where I could pay energy to kill something. I'm not going to. I'm just going to take it for the energy. Heat is very starved on energy. It's our biggest problem here. Uh, no Bravery. Uh, beast Damage. Dang, if I actually was able, if I was able to kill this building here, no Bravery would have triggered. It would not Ravage. Okay, so Ravage. Got to Mining Rush. Builds. And I think I'm in a really good spot here. Um, worst explorer, I mean, maybe it's coast, probably coast. Wetlands is, sands, that's, that's fine, actually, sands is really good for us. Oh, but I actually have to escalate, so maybe it's not really good. Um, oh no, but I have these cards set up. Just kidding, no, it's, it's, it's still pretty good for us. Um, so we have the innate, so two damage, we can do the two damage here, and, um, that would kill the town trying to think. I could do Stinking Sandstorm here, do the damage here instead. Ferocity, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Probably supposed to clear this out because that's the edge case. So if that is, okay, so we'll do singing, Stinging Sandstorm. One fear, one damage, killing the town here. We'll then use my innate, so two damage and killing the explorer. And then we'll use Call to Ferocity. And I guess I could do something like this. Just pairing up my Dahan. The reason why I did this exact play is uh, there's that coast edge case that I'm terrified about. Um, and like I could have completely cleared this, but um, I would rather deal with the coastal edge case than have to and then have invaders here instead of the other way around. I'm going to reclaim. This is where I could get a major if I want, but I want to get another minor. I'm just looking for more um, good cards. Call to Bloodshed. Now I feel kind of bad about not gathering my Dahan into my E6, because I could have been able to play Call to Bloodshed to clear that land out. I'm still going to grab it. The best card of the three, or of the four. We know we have to play our skip. We also know we have to play our defend. And we need two fire cards to hit my innate, and one of them has to be an Earth card. Probably want to do something like that. As well as this. How does that look? Looks pretty good. And then the next turn, we do these two cards. I'll get a fire. That gets me tier 3. And, and another card play. Yeah, I mean, this, this seems pretty good. So 
sweltering exhaustion one fear skip the jungle drift down defend four and this is where we're just in the driver's seat here there's not much they can do struggles of growth i can destroy presence to gain a power card or i could forget a power card to gain energy i think i'll forget no i actually need all of these cards so i can't forget any of them do I want to forget any cards here? Probably not. Do I want to destroy presence? Guess I could destroy those two. I'm not excited about it. We we'll get another miner. Looking for a fire earth. We did get it with rights, so now I think we have a maxinate. Your cards. Too many monsters. Okay. Jungle Ravage. Sands build. And what is that? It is. I was about to say, is it that coast? Yes, it is. And Luckily, we did play around that edge case. And we're going to be doing um, Cult to Bloodshed. Killing this. We're going to use the Innate. Killing this. And we use Call on Herders. Gathering two, two Dahan into my E7. And then I'm going to use Call on Herders to push the Dahan out. And I get them over here so now they can actually trade in this land. Yeah, we are in... Oh, wow, we have another stage two. Just insane. We're going to G3 here. Getting another miner. And we'll play our five cards here. And I guess we have another Fire Earth card that we could play if we'd like. Um, I think I will, just because I, I think that's the most fun. The fun option. The good option? Probably not. But it's the fun option. We're going to take Searing Heat for ourselves. We'll use Rights of Land Rejections. We'll do that here. And we're moving through the motions. Got to add a Explorer. Beast destroys. I may use a Slow Power now if I would like. Not going to. Oh, I can actually. I don't even have the Han. Remove an Explorer from a Sacred Site. Sure. Dan's Ravage, Mountain Builds, or Coast Builds, and the Explore is that Wetland is back again. Okay, so at this point, we want to do Stinging Sandstorm. It's actually kind of sad. I wanted to be able to kill everything. I don't think I can. I think I gotta wait another turn. So yeah, Stinging Sandstorm. One fear, one damage. We use the innate. The innate is maxed out, and that will kill everything here. Everything dies. And then... Probably go Cult of Ferocity here. And then Unquenchable Flame, One Fear, Badlands... Damage, damage, there we go. Time passes, and we will reclaim. Getting a major, and like, even if I don't find an answer for this land, I still have a skip that I could just throw out there, too. It's just the power um, of the spirit. It's like you always have an answer. Um, so in this case, I mean, I think I was just supposed to grab, I mean, Thicket's trying to clear this land up. And then, um, though they, ooh, it is close, though. Like, how risky do I want to be? I think we still do thickets, and we get rid of... Probably rights. Play these three cards. Oh, maybe I was supposed to... Um... Maybe I was supposed to do the uh, Badlands here. Yeah, that was probably a slight mistake, because I, I forgot that this could be used as damage in the fast. So that is a slight mistake by me. That is okay. We'll use Searing Heat. One energy damage here. Drift down, defend one. We'll use Thickets. Um, Actually, we don't even need to Threshold it, do we? Play something like this. It's... No, let's grab this one. 
the thickets. It'll be two damage, plus one for the badlands, killing everything, healing the blights. I have the ravage skip, but we'll just use it as a skip card. Get the reminder. Uh, actually, we'll do it here. We'll we'll risk the uh, the one damage. We'll skip the build. Okay, let's see what we get. Um, ooh, we get defend two. Okay, so we actually need one more defend for this mountain. We're at defend three versus uh, five damage. That does nothing. How oh, greedy. That does nothing. Oh, that does nothing. Dang, I was like about to say maybe I could have gathered the town. Oh, darn. A shame. So that dies, that dies. I need two mining rush. And then I will build. I've skipped the build. And the explore is mountain jungle. How many turns do we got left? Yeah, I think um, the Badlands here was a mistake. That should have gone there, and I would have been able to kill it. But it's what it is. Um, I think we're really close, though. We have the Innate. The Innate kills this. Plus, we have Stinging Sandstorm, One Fear. And... Actually, no, the Innate kills that. And then we'll get that. And then I just reclaim... Oh, I can't reclaim and play thickets. I have no energy. Oh no, what have we done? <laughs> Guess we just do this then. That's dead. Yeah, we kill the explorer there. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I'll G3 again for another major. Looking for a three cost that can get rid of that town. And I did with with winds, giving me one fear and allowing me to downgrade to that explorer. And that is GG. So a very um, <laughs> not close game. Um, what went well this game? I mean, the explorers, I don't know. I mean, I think it just really, I guess drafting that defend really helped. The back-to-back, -back, because we have a skip, the back-to-back -back is um, pretty favorable for us. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.